police investigating hate crime after transgender woman turned down for porn role because she has a penis. What? This ain't real. <laughs> this ain't real. All right. Cops are investigating a hate crime after a transgender woman was turned down for a porn role because she has a penis. Raya Cooper, 25, who became Britain's youngest trans person when she transitioned 10 years ago, said at 15. See, if you transition young, you turn to porn. Is that what you want for your, your son daughter? Your son daughter? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, says 10, says an anonymous photographer messaged her saying he wanted them to have sex on camera and sell the resulting porno. I'm going to start messaging people. Hey, I'm an anonymous photographer. I want to have sex with you and sell the porno. <laughs> That's so, great. You see, it's all in the angles here. If you're looking at these pictures, uh huh. the first picture, she looks, other than the big fucking lips, I don't think she looks bad. And then the second picture, she looks like a dude with long hair and big lips. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's what though. All right. Uh, but when we found out Rhea still has male reproductive organs, he immediately retracted the offer. <laughs> you got a dick? No, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that she still has it. Oh, <laughs> she's st- you haven't turned that thing inside out yet? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> the messages exchanged over WhatsApp. The photographer claimed he couldn't work with her because she has a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Or a Catherick, I guess. A Catherick. Rhea, Rhea has hit out at the transphobic behavior and says she's being unfairly discriminated against her modeling. Good. This is a well, well fucking stupid. Transphobic behavior. I'm not going to have make a porno with you because you have a cock. How is that transphobic? <laughs> he then cut all contact with Rhea, who says her social media profiles clearly state she is a lady boy. So if, if I don't know what lady boy means. <laughs> I just thought that means she likes to shoot guns and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you cut contact. I ain't, this bitch is crazy. She's oh. a lady boy. <sighs> okay. So we've, we've asked several times on the show, what is a hate crime? Uh-huh. This spells it out. It says, what is a hate crime? And then it gives you the answers. Uh-huh. All right. A hate crime is when someone commits a crime against you because of your disability, gender, identity, race, sexual orientation, weight, religion, or any other perceived difference. Or any other perceived difference. <laughs> you're you're not quite as tall as me. Oh, shit, I'm going to jail. <laughs> you didn't see that I snuck weight in there, did you? <laughs> I did. I, did. I, I was just going to let you have that one, you know? <laughs> um, okay, so let's break that apart. A hate crime is when someone commits a crime against you because of your disability. Like, there's a cripple. Let's go beat him up. So you're you're missing the important part here that doesn't apply. A hate crime is when someone commits a crime. What's the crime no, in not making a porno with somebody? I'm not even talking about the article anymore. That's fucking stupid. I, I'm more curious about, I want to get to the bottom of what a hate crime is. Ah. But if, you know, this, this isn't America. This is from... Uh, Hate uh, crime is a hate crime anywhere, Anthony. No, no, no. This just... is... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Huh. It doesn't always include physical violence. Someone using offensive language towards you or harassing you because of who you are or, or who you think you are. Who do you think you are? Oh, who, who also they think a you. crime. <laughs> who they think you are is also a crime. So <laughs> what? Okay, if there's a guy walking down the street and his name's Dave, and you yeah. go, fuck you, Bob. <laughs> That's hey, a hate um, crime. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Bob. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> the same goes for someone posting abusive or offensive messages about you online. All you motherfuckers are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have all hate crimed me. <laughs> <laughs> you all hate crime me. I would like to report 2,000 hate crimes, please. <laughs> I think you should get an undercover agent to monitor our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> A hate crime is defined as any criminal offense which is perceived by the victim or any other person to be motivated by hostility or prejudice based on a person's race 
or perceived race, religion or perceived religion, sexual orientation or perceived sexual orientation, <laughs> disability or perceived disability, and any crime motivated by hostility or prejudice against a person who is transgender or perceived to be transgender. What in the fuck <laughs> did I just read? <laughs> that, that is horrible. Like, if you think it was a crime, it was a crime. <laughs> and we will arrest them. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I... We, we've we've argued about this yeah I, like your your stance is probably the right stance you know if if you Wait, ass- hold on can you remind me what my stance is again yes that there should be no different penalty between a crime and a hate crime right so if i walk up and beat somebody up if i punch them in the face yeah whether whether she is a 92 year old grandmother uh-huh. or a nine-year-old infant right. <laughs> all right <laughs> or a nine-year-old grandmother <laughs> or yeah but so if, if i beat up a nine-year-old girl because she's gay i should face the same penalty as if i beat up a 45 year old uh straight white male cis he him <laughs> <laughs> right. right right i agree yes and on the surface it's like I, I fundamentally, di- it's like I feel like I should disagree with that. But then I know when I'm saying it, it's just fucking retarded what's coming out of my mouth. Like, uh-huh. no, 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 no. If you punch this person because you, because he stole 20 bucks from you. Yeah. It's a class A misdemeanor. Okay. And if you just decide to go out and put on your Confederate flag bandana and beat up a bunch of gays. Uh huh the fines or the penalty should be more severe. I I feel like that, but then it's like once just as bad as the other. I mean, the the motivation is not the, the issue. It's the crime that was committed. Right. Uh, Cause then otherwise, so if, if you, if you prosecute somebody for the hate crime, uh-huh. you're, you're prosecuting, prosecuting them for the thoughts that led up to it. Right. Which is like a thought crime. Right. Not only that, but you're, legally creating divisions in in, in people I, it, that doesn't make any sense to me like we divide ourselves enough we don't need laws to do it <laughs> it's, it's... and then you get situations where if a white guy and a black guy get into a fight no matter what the circumstances if the black guy gets hurt uh, it's a hate crime <laughs> wait a minute yeah so i, I we're not even through this <laughs> Um, if you think some, if you think you or someone you know may be a victim, you can report it to the local pol- what? <laughs> I I think this is the show notes for the week. <laughs> just just this paragraph. If you if you think if you think you or someone you know might be a victim of a hate crime, you can report it to your local police force. <laughs> See how many of our uh, listeners report us for hate crimes? <laughs> no, we don't want that, dummy. Don't give them any fucking idea. <laughs> This is, I told you, this isn't America. Do we have any non American listeners? Are there any non Americans? I think that's just a myth. <laughs> they don't even have internet there. Right. Internet's only in the United States. Right. All the long talking on over and we'll find-